you mentioned uh, the end of capitalism and without mm -hmm. going too deep into it, I, I am kind of curious, what do you see in the future? I've heard a few AI people recently saying, not sure if uh, money will even be around in the future. Um, what will that the economy look like? And then what will humans try well, to amass as capital? Will it be your mindset? Will it be your creativity? Will it be your personality? Yeah, what will that look like? Uh, so we, we have another three hours to dive into this. <laughs> uh, so let me, let me let me tease people. First of all, there's a, uh, a fascinating book called Zero Marginal Society by Jeremy Rifkin uh, that dives into this very well. Uh, but let me, you know, we humans grew up selling scarcity. Um, I owned this apple orchard or this olive orchard and I owned all the olives on it and I would... Uh, meter them out and sell them a bushel at a time, whatever the case might be, that's scarcity. Um, a consulting firm gets a whole bunch of intelligent people and you sell it by the hour or by the engagement. Um, that's a scarcity model, right? An abundance model um, is you're effectively giving away things for free. In a scarce mindset, if you have uh, a apple pie and twice as many people show up uh, in the scarce mindset. You have to you have to slice the pie into thinner and thinner slices for everybody. In an abundance model, no, it's going to bake more pies, right? So we have the ability to create as much of what we need uh, to meet the needs. Um, where are we going? Uh, Eric Drexler in the in 1986 wrote a book called Engines of Creation, in which he talked about something called nanotechnology. And the idea that everything in our physical universe is made up by atoms. And we're going to reach a point in technological evolution where we can grab individual atoms of carbon here and oxygen here and nitrogen there and assemble what we want and build things. We have this in, in today in the form of an oak tree, right? If you take the seed for an oak tree and plant it in the ground, it's a it's a uh, nano machine that brings together water and nutrients, and it slowly over a century will build a mighty oak. But um, and just think about that, right? It's the information set inside that little oak seed that creates that mighty oak. But imagine now instead, if I have the ability to create a nano assembler. Um, microscopic, much smaller than the human cell. And I drop one into my hand and I say, okay, listen, copy yourself, grab some atoms from my, from my hand, kill a few cells, that's fine. And make one for, for Brian and make one for, uh, for Brian's team. Um, and each of you get one. And now you have a nano assembler and, uh, you're able to drop it in the soil and say, please build me an electric Ferrari and I'd like a mansion. Now, that assembler has to get access to materials, information, and energy. That's all it needs. Well, energy, we're heading towards a, a squandrel abundance of energy, again, from solar, but more from fusion. Um, and then materials are pretty much massively abundant. They're just not in a purified form yet. And what we really spend a lot of time and energy doing is purifying things. Uh, to purify the atoms of titanium or aluminum or carbon to make diamond. Um, and so assemblers can do that on their own. So the material costs are really just raw hunks and hunks. You might, it might say, can you please feed me some a little more titanium? I need it. Uh, and then the information is probably going to be open source information. So all of a sudden the cost of things, material things start to move towards zero. So what does that economic world look like? Is that a post-capitalist world? What do we still have as value? Maybe it's compute cycles that are valuable. I mean, these are the things we have to think about and understand. And I might have said you have to think about those things, you know, 30 years from now or 25 years from now. I now think we have to think about these things this decade, the next 10 years. Uh, as, a, as my third book was titled, The Future is Faster Than You Think. Um, but I still think it's the most extraordinary time ever to be alive. Uh, you just need to be constantly educating yourself. Uh, and I think uh, Brian 
through your work and the work I do, that's what we're constantly doing. That's what makes it fun. So Jim Rickards has just recorded a video that's not available to anyone in the public, and he's gonna be talking about how this upcoming recession is gonna be fast, it's gonna be bloody, it's gonna be nasty. But at the same time, he's gonna show you how you can position yourself to profit from all of this chaos. Now we've made this video only available to our viewers. Go to LondonReal.tv forward slash Jim, watch that immediately. I can't say enough good things about Jim Rickards. He understands the global economic system better than any guest I've ever had on London Real. His predictions are almost uncannily true, and you can learn how to profit from his vision, from his expertise, and his understanding of economics. So go to LondonReal.tv forward slash Jim or click the link below. It's an excellent, excellent look on what's going to happen in the future and how you can position yourself to profit from that. Jim is one of the best in the business, one of my favorite guests on London Real. And he's very, very good at predicting the future and showing us all to profit from it. So click the link and I hope you enjoy. Hey, do you want to profit from crypto? Then join my DeFi Academy. The Crypto DeFi Academy will help you create generational wealth. But don't take my word for it. Listen to my students. When I first got into crypto, I remember thinking to myself, I need to learn more. Brian Rose, learning crypto, learning DeFi, got to do it. I am so grateful that I jumped in and did this. I had to break through some limiting beliefs that I can do this, that I can afford this, that I can be in this. It challenges um, the things that are deeply rooted within us. Joining DeFi Academy has been one of the best decisions I have made on my blockchain journey. This course was a life changer, a game changer, a huge eye opener coming from knowing practically nothing at the speed of the learning over the over four weeks was just fantastic. The information you provided in this class was invaluable. I feel far more confident in my next steps. You took complex concepts and made them easier to understand. What's different than so many other ones is it just doesn't tell you what to do. It uh, actually makes you do it. This is for people who are serious about becoming traders. This is the way it should be done. I realized from this learning experience again that it is not about what you learn, but about who you learn it from. The energy was insane. I've, I've never experienced such incredible energy on a live call. Brian Rose, you, you are a legend, my friend. It's the only thing in the market where you can get all information and learn everything what you need to know. Everything is so clear and so well done. And I am um, just forever grateful for this program. It made me feel so much more confident about crypto than I did before. I did not anticipate how passionate I was going to become about it. This course has been like a big learning experience for me, not just in the crypto space, but just uh, in overall uh, balance of life. What I've learned is, you know, how to take ownership, you know, of my life in a way that um, I really, I really hadn't before. Yeah, you can't put a price on that, really. I would recommend it to anybody top-notch. Excellence does not come cheap. You know, so if you want excellence, you got to pay for it, but it's so worth it. Pull the trigger. That's what this course is about. You're not going to regret it, really. It's amazing. Thank you, Brian and team. So what are you waiting for? Crypto is happening now. Click the link below, submit your application, and let me mentor you on how to create generational wealth and build the decentralized financial infrastructure of the future.